The recent years have been extremely kind to China in terms of developments in every phase of technology, space, and military sector. The progression has been so significant that praises from all around the world has been heard and everyone appreciated the overall advancements done by the People's Republic of China. But as always, the praise was not heard from every corner of the world, and some doubted the intentions behind such advancements. From major advancements in space to a military that is on a rapid pace to becoming a world-class military that others can only dream of surpassing. The Chinese progression in the past few years is only the beginning for the Great Wall people. Some developments have been so advanced that they directly counter the nation's rivals, particularly the United States, who can be considered one of the dominant states that boast mighty technological advancements. In today's episode, we are going to look over some of the key developments and advancements from China that are a direct counter and severe threat to the US itself if the need arises. This is Race to Space, and if you like watching content, regarding space exploration, consider subscribing. China's space sector is currently one of the largest and most advanced space programs in the whole wide world, and that's saying a lot. The nation undoubtedly achieved so much after having a rough start that any appreciation for the significant advancements falls short. One of the key advancements of China's growing space might is the satellite development and its implications. Satellites are extremely vital for a country's defense, as well as offense in China plans to achieve superiority in just that. From constellations, satellite ground stations to the AppStar 6E itself, the Chinese space program plans on putting even more satellites and their ground stations so using them would be easier and less costly. Growing satellite industry means a major boost for the defensive department of the nation and combine that with an aggressive offense that can stun the opposition before they can blink and you have the recipe for disaster. The hypersonic development in these recent years have been a key part of China's significant advancements and developments. Hypersonic is considered a technology of the future, and every developed nation of the world is currently using its biggest resources to achieve and implement said technology for uses in and outside of conflict. China without a doubt, remains on the top of the leaderboard with its own hypersonic technological developments in the past few years. From implement a hypersonic glide vehicle, missiles to using hypersonic ski jumps to send its people and technology into space, the People's Republic of China boasts a significant advancement in one of the biggest technologies of this decade and the future. Pretty safe to say, the Chinese developments in this technology has the West, particularly the US worried. One of the main reasons the West is shocked by Chinese developments is that hypersonic is said to be used only once and that was by Russia in the Russian-Ukraine conflict. The US has no active hypersonic weapons in its arsenal however, the US Air Force has done several successful key tests in this technology but still, having an active weapon in your arsenal gives you an edge over all your rivals and China has done just that to achieve superiority in hypersonic technology. Another reason the Chinese developments are so significant is that the US has revealed continuous that they currently have no way of shooting down a hypersonic weapon if it is used in conflict against them. Such a problem is not restricted to only US, because shooting down hypersonic technology is still under development all over the world, which gives the hypersonic users another mighty edge if used in conflict. A top-ranking US official, Air Force General John E. Hyten, told the Washington Post in the past that hypersonic missiles are the threat of the future. He said, that's not just because they can fly so fast, but also because their trajectory is so unpredictable. When tracking a ballistic missile, US surveillance systems can and predict soon after launch where it will land. But a low-flying, hypersonic cruise missile can zig and zag, avoiding detection and targeting and posing an eerie, perhaps unstoppable danger. Hypersonic technology has the potential and ability to revolutionize military and aerospace operations by enabling rapid and precise strikes against targets. China has been working on this technology for several years, but the recent years have been extremely kind towards its development because the breakthrough has been significant. To top it all off, scientists in Beijing say they have developed a generator that can turn hot gas moving at hypersonic speeds into an intense electric current capable of powering 
futuristic weapons, this breakthrough has given China such a crucial victory over the hypersonic technology that it might single-handedly shape the future of weapons. The electricity produced could be used to charge military lasers, microwave weapons, rail guns, and other pulsed energy weapons. According to the team, led by assistant researcher Zhang Xiaoyuan with the Institute of Mechanics under the Chinese Academy of Sciences. According to the researchers, the technology could also be used for civilian purposes, such as devices for producing nuclear fusion energy or to send a burst of strong SOS signals in an emergency. Nuclear weapons are one of the biggest threats currently. China has remained on the backseat in its nuclear developments in the past, but that has changed significantly well in the favor of the nation. Once again, it is safe to say that China's developments of their nuclear sector has the U.S. worried. China is accelerating its development of strategic nuclear warheads in an effort to amass 700 by 2027 and 1,000 by 2030, more than doubling last year's estimate. According to the U.S. Defense Department's 2021, China China military power report, and this is a report from almost two years ago. China's advancements in the last year have already implied that their target is greater than that. Current estimates say, based on data collated and analyzed by experts in the US, that China has approximately 350 nuclear warheads ready for delivery. These warheads are ready for delivery through approximately 280 land-based and 72 sea-based ballistic missiles. Additionally, China is estimated to have 20 nuclear gravity bombs assigned to bombers. In a press release, a senior U.S. defense official stated, they've got a rapid buildup that is kind of too substantial to keep under wraps. It does raise questions about whether they're kind of shifting away from a strategy that was premised on what they referred to as a lean and effective deterrent. China's mighty dragon, the Chengdu J-20 has been making headlines all over the world. The Chengdu J-20 joined the PLA Air Force arsenal back in 2017 and remains one of the deadliest stealth fighters to this day. A twinjet all-weather stealth fighter, the J-20 is designed as an air superiority fighter with precision strike capability. The aircraft has three variants, the initial production model, J-20A, the thrust vectoring J-20B, and twin-seat aircraft teaming capability. J-20S. It is the world's first fifth-generation fighter jet, next only to the US F-20 and F-35, which are a fierce competition to say the least. Fifth-generation stealth fighters are currently one of the deadliest aircraft a country can boast in its arsenal. They are so advanced and rare that currently only five fighters are in active combat. These aircraft are in US, China, and Russia's arsenal. The J-20 is without a doubt one of the most impressive fighter aircraft currently in active service. Its power comes from two Shenyang WS-10C afterburning turbofans, and these propel the aircraft to a top speed of Mach 2.0. Estimates of the actual top speed of the jet put it at around the 2,100 km per hour mark, which equates to roughly 1,304 miles per hour. The J-20 is also slated to carry a variety of advanced electronic systems. This technology includes an active electronically scanned array, a chin-mounted infrared or electro-optic search and track sensor, and a passive electro-optical detection system that will provide 360 degrees spherical coverage around the aircraft. These systems are expected to be comparable to those found inside the F-35. Additionally, the J-20 is likely to field an advanced communication suite that will enable it to dialing with friendly platforms in service and platforms under development. With much about China's key developments in the past few years and how big of a threat they are to the US itself covered, it is time to wrap this one up. If you have any topics in mind, comment below and we will cover them for you. As always, subscribe to never miss out. This is Race to Space, and we will see you in the next one.